Hi guys, what's up? Nico's here. Today we are doing a new series called Tricks for Mappers. Yeah, am I breaking something? No, I'm not. So this is a series that's gonna show you a lot of tricks, life hacks, that a mapper can use to improve their maps in episodes. So they are really short episodes with really short tricks. So today's trick is gonna be a one that a lot of people know, but some people actually don't. So beginners don't. So if you don't know, it's not that you are a beginner. It's that you are not so pro in that sort of stuff. Okay. So today we're gonna start with something easy. So you know that in Team Move One you can break all the blocks that you want. Okay. You know that. Okay. Now, yeah, let, let's replace everything. Right? Let's put it. Let's do it quite nicely. In Game Mode Zero. You, you can break the blocks, but you need time, you need all the stuff, you need the pickaxe, you need all the stuff. In Game Mode 2, you can't break anything, right? Yeah, you can't break anything. But, uh, you can, as example, if we have a trapdoor, let me put it here. In Game Mode 2, you can move the trapdoor. Yeah, so you, you can do that, okay? What if I told you there is a way to let you mine something in Game Mode 2? Mind mode, right? Yeah. You can do it with just one command. You need a tool though. A special tool. So, um, as example, I'm gonna set up a space. A, a, a space. Give me a second. Boom and boom. So let's press this button. As you can see, now it gives me a pickaxe. But when I over on it, it says can break sandstone. So if we go in game mode one, naturally we can break sandstone even with our bare end. But if we go in game mode two, as you can see, I cannot break sandstone. But if I put my pickaxe in my hand, I can do it. Mind blowing. Uh, I I hope actually you actually get the block. But uh, that, that's a cool thing. If you don't want the player to get the block, you can do game rule. Uh, do tire drop falls, and as you can see, you're not gonna get the block anymore. So that's something right there that, that you could you should keep in mind. Let, let's try to uh, okay. So as you can see now, the blocks that we gained cannot be replaced anymore because they have normal sandstone. So that's a bummer, right? No, we using this button, we can get a piece of stone at the temple that can be placed on sandstone. As you can see, even if I give more two. I can do it. Naturally, I cannot place the stone on the other stone, but I can place it on sandstone. How to do this? With one easy command that I'm gonna explain right now. This is the command. Oh wait, um, yeah, this is the command. So, it just gives the player a diamond picket. Then you must put one zero. One zero basically means the quantity is one and the, the modifier. Uh, okay, let, let's see what the modifier means. As example, if I do stone, if it's stone 0, it's normal stone. If it's stone 1, it's like underside. I, I don't know which one it is. If it's 1, it's underside. If it's 2, it's polished underside. If it's 3, it's diorite. Something like that, okay? So this one, keep it to 0. I mean, you don't want that stuff. So, for example, diamond pickaxe in our, in our way, okay? So, diamond pickaxe, remember to do 1, 0. And then you must do this combination right here. Remember to put the these things here. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, do this, okay, do these two stuffs, okay? And then, um, put inside, can destroy, uh, remember to do capital letters, like I'm doing, destroy, and then, uh, this, the com, and then, the other things, okay? I, I'm just calling it things, and, okay, like this. Remember to do this thing. So if you want can destroy, so it's something that the player can destroy a block, you must put can destroy, and then the name of the block, so can destroy stone. So this pickaxe can now destroy stones, so remember to do it like this. I'm gonna leave the, the command in the description. If you want even, if you want it to be a block that can be placed on something, you can do, instead of destroy, can place on. Remember to do it just like this, and naturally a diamond pickaxe cannot be placed, so you should change it to like, let's do like sandstone, as example. So now, we will get a sandstone block that can be placed on stone. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it's gonna help you with mapping, and I'm gonna do other one of these quite soon. So stay tuned. And I'll see you later. Haha, <laughs> bye!